In this video, we will be walking through how you can find the status of payment reversals in SiteLink when using storable payments. First, log in to MyHub Corporate Control Center. Then, click Payments in the menu on the left side. Select Transactions. Select your start and end dates for the data that you would like to look at and click Apply. Now you will see a list of all transactions and the status of each transaction. Reversals will show as a negative amount and as a separate line item from the original payment, which will remain as a positive, positive amount. What you'll see after the reversal is successfully processed. A couple of things to know is the time of day that you complete a payment reversal will affect what you see in SiteLink. This will also vary based on the deposit cutoff time your account is set up with. A payment that is reversed on the same day and before your deposit cutoff time will be voided, in other words, canceled before it's processed with the bank. There will be no record of the payment on the tenant's bank statement. A payment that is reversed after your deposit cutoff time will be handled as a refund. The original payment will be deducted from the cardholder's bank account and the refund will be credited back to them within a few days. Now we'll go into some reports that will be important to look at. The first report we'll look at is a ledger history report, which I've already run. On this report, the payment will show up as a reversed payment. Next, we will look at the daily deposit report. In this report, refunds show up in the refund section on the bottom right. In order to run this report, we will go back one screen, go back to reporting on the left-hand menu, select web reports, we will then select all of our facilities or one facility to take a look at and click Next. From here, under the Deposits heading, we will select Daily Deposit and then finalize the criteria for the data we want to look at on the right-hand side and click Export. In regards to bank deposit and deposit details in My Hub Corporate Control Center, it's important to know voids do not flow through to bank deposits. But for refunds, the payment and the refund will be reflected on separate deposit reports because they occur on different days. This is why we will want to reference the deposits report for the amount you should expect to see for each deposit. We'll stay on this screen and under the financial heading, we will click the deposit report and again, finalize the criteria we want to look at on the right-hand side and click Export. I already have one run, and this is what you should expect to see on that report. Finally, in regards to tenant bank statements, voids will not show up, but bank activity may reflect the pending void for up to 24 hours. For refunds, the payment and the refund will show up as a separate line item on the tenant's bank statement. 